guys welcome back to hope is a live channel <laughs> welcome to 2024 it's been several weeks it's been a, an interesting start to the year with lots of things going on but today i want to talk about maturity and as mature sons and daughters of god god wants us to be led by his holy spirit there's a difference between being a child of god and being a son or a daughter of god let me just say son for the sake of this video uh, in scripture, scripture says quite clearly that there's there's a difference and it has to do with maturity. So today's video is about maturity. In John chapter one, John tells us that as many as have received Jesus, he gave the right to become children of God, even those that believed on his name. When we've received Jesus as our Lord and Savior, when we were born again into the family of God and God became our father, we become a child of God. The word used is the Greek word technon, which means an infant or a babe. So when we receive Jesus into our heart as Lord and Saviour, we become babes in Christ. Uh, little children, little infants. But then it says in Romans 8.14, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. The word sons is the Greek word huios, which denotes a mature son who's taken over control and running of the family business. In traditional Jewish society, there were two major rites of passage uh, for boys and young men. The age of 12, 13 was the bar mitzvah, meaning son of the law, when they were considered, considered to enter into manhood. They were no longer with the ladies in the kitchen and helping mum all the time. They were now being a young man and learning the skills of manhood. Then they entered what for many were a 17 year apprenticeship a period of training and of preparation. And at the age of 30, does that sound familiar? There was a further ceremony called the Huia Thesia, uh, which means the ceremony of adoption, in which the father would set his son over the family business. As a Huios, the son is a mature son who has authority, he has responsibility over the family business. As part of that ceremony, the Jewish father would present his son and then he would say something like this. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Have you heard those words before? And this is because this is precisely what happened to Jesus when he was 30 years old. The father said, this is my beloved son. He was saying, son, you're in charge of the family business now. Well, the family business is the kingdom of God. There's a big difference between a technon and a huios. The prophetic ministry increases in power as we make the transition from young babes to being mature men. That's why some people shouldn't open their mouths to prophesy because they're still babies and they still prophesy like babies. It takes maturity. The hallmark of a mature son is one that's led by the Spirit of God. And that's the definition of Christian maturity. It's when we come to a place where we are truly led by the Holy Spirit. It says in John 5, 19, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the father do for whatever he does, the son also does in a like manner. John 8, 28, you will know that I do nothing of myself, but as my father taught me, I speak these things. So Jesus as a mature son was being led by the Holy Spirit. He said, I only do the things I see the father doing. I only speak the words I hear the father speaking. This is maturity. This is what it means to be led by the spirit, to do the things that we see the father doing, to speak the things that we hear the father speaking. To be able to do this, we've got to come to know him intimately. Our hearts have got to be in tune with the father. So today, let's move from being a technon to being, being a huios in Christ. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching Hope is Alive channel. For more videos, you can click here or here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, send it to your friends. Take care. You can choose now. Yeah, just anyway.